Sisters of Providence making a house call at the beginning of the 20th century. Could you push above your eyebrows and see if that's tender above the eyebrows there? Um, just a little bit. Nurse practitioner Lindsay Kleps makes a house call in the 21st century at the Providence Health Express office. Turn your head from side to side. Does it make you a little dizzy? As far as we know, this is the first workplace um, telemedicine clinic. We see a lot of sinus infections, we see sore throats, we see ear complaints, allergies. Lindsay, in an office in Beaverton, is seeing state employees working in Salem. They have dropped by this video clinic complaining of a minor illness. Beyond a doubt, every patient that I've seen by the end of the visit is, has, is excited about it and impressed by the amount of, of connection you can still make through a video monitor. This cold I have, is it the flu? And this lower back pain, what's causing it? And my skin condition, how can I treat that? These are the kinds of questions you can ask a licensed, board-certified healthcare professional on this secure video link. You ready? And there we go. All right. All right. Thank uh, you very much. Governor John Kitzhaber came to the grand opening. He was impressed. Now we've got this kind of technology that allows people to do it uh, you know, quickly and conveniently at a much lower cost. Patients can see a nurse practitioner at their convenience. She may order a prescription or a lab test, even send them home if they're contagious, keeping the workplace healthy. I think you should probably not be at work. Two more video exam rooms are opening for employees at state prisons. And the next step, offering Providence Health Express to private employers. Employers are interested in providing services at their location while making it convenient for their employees. Consumers expect that health care will be easy, fast, and convenient using technology to connect their experience. At Providence, this is one way we're innovating to meet that expectation. And nurse practitioners hope someday to use it to see patients in their homes. If we can tap into their computer at home and not only talk to that mom about what's going on, but be able to see that baby. Where does it hurt? Patients can show the nurse their rash or their inner ear. Telemedicine has taken health care a long way from that dog sled ride to Fairbanks. For Providence, I'm Mike Donahue.